This video discusses the Access Point Details View, which is available in the Advanced User Interface for all the wireless LAN controllers running release 8.1 or above. Navigating to the Access Point Details View for an access point of interest is quick and easy within the Advanced User Interface. Access points can either be located by using the Global AP or Client Search function, or by selecting a specific access point of interest from the Access Point table. The AP or Client Search function is the quickest method to locate an access point of interest as it allows you to search all the currently joined access points by entering either the full or partial name of the access point into the search field. For example, typing SJC14 into the search field will bring up a list of all the currently joined access points that include SJC14 in their name. You can then select a specific access point from the list which will take you to the AP View Details page for that specific access point. For example, by selecting the SJC 1421B AP3. The second method to search for an access point is to use the access point table which can be opened by clicking the access point menu option under the network summary. This will navigate you to the access point table that provides a full list of all the access points that are currently joined to the wireless LAN controller. Clicking on an access point from the table will take you to the access point details page for that specific access point. For example, again by selecting SJC 1421B AP3 from the list will take me to the access point details view for that AP. The access point table displays additional information for each access point. In addition to the number of associated clients, the table displays the usage, uptime, channels, interference percentage, and number of rows. The displayed values for certain columns are radio specific, and by default values for the 2.4 GHz radio will be displayed. You can switch to the 5 GHz values by selecting the 5 GHz button. Notice how the radio specific values change when you do this. The displayed columns are also fully configurable and can be added and removed as desired. For example, adding a column that displays the access point IP address can be achieved by selecting a column header under the column submenu and, and enabling the IP address column. You may also remove a column using this same menu, for example, removing the IPv6 address column. The changes occur in real time. The access point table also allows you to filter by column. Filtering can be accessed by selecting the table column header under the filter menu. This is useful for locating access points based on name, IP address or MAC address. The filter function can also be used to locate access points based on specific modifiers as well, such as partial or full matches using contains, not contains, or even for numerical values, min or max values. This is useful, for example, if you only want to display access points with a certain number of clients, or if you want to locate access points with a certain number of rows. 